The Venice Biennale has a star artist like never before, an ultra-realistic humanoid robot. How do you feel to be making history by participating in the Venice Biennale this year? I have to say that Venice is a very special place to me. I want to show my work. Ada is blurring the lines between art and artificial intelligence. Cameras in her eyes capture vision that's processed by AI algorithms into coordinates, which are then converted into sketches with her bionic arm. Each work is unique. Actually, the way that the algorithms are put together now, we are fundamentally looking at creativity. Ada was completed in 2019 in Oxford, England, and has since travelled the world. Her creator says the exhibition, Leaping into the Metaverse, aims to raise ethical questions about the role of technology in our lives today, while using ideas from Italy's 13th century poet, Dante. Technology is very powerful but we've set this in the uh, world of Dante in Purgatoria. And the reason we've done that is because we don't know whether it's heaven or hell. More than 200 artists are gathered in Venice for the event's post-pandemic return. 80 nations are represented in different pavilions across the Biennale. And while organizers say the event was curated during the pandemic, it also reflects the world's current state of emergency. The Russian Biennale team resigned at the war's outset, but the Ukrainian pavilion is open. Lizaveta German is among the curators. She fled Kiev just days before her baby was born. Our mission is maybe to spread the word, to spread the, the, the information, to spread the, the, the knowledge about this brutal war that is happening now in Ukraine. And uh, we realize that the cultural frontier is also the frontier. The Fountain of Exhaustion by artist Pavlo Markov was conceived in the city of Kharkiv in the mid-90s and communicates a message of resilience. I was in Kiev, so I put the funnels from the fountain in the truck of my car and just um, started, you know, my journey. You know, exhaustion is here with the war and that was a kind of alert from Pavlo, Pavlo many years ago. A Biennale of Art representing past, present and future battles. The event will run until the end of November. Hermione Kitson, CGTN, Venice.